Hello, it's me, Ned. Today we're going to be working on taking out some of those cabinets. If you haven't watched the previous video introducing you to this ambulance project, I recommend you do so. But let's go ahead and get started. So it looks like the cabinet is held in with just these little torque screws here and a couple of nuts along the other edges. You guys can see that. So hopefully this cabinet will come out fairly easily. And we'll see what's behind it. Well, the first cabinet is out. Came out fairly easily. Just a few, a few screws and a couple nuts. And it came out and it left a nice clean opening there. So, so far so good. This second cabinet's gonna be a little bit more involved because it is kind of one piece with the cabinet below it and I don't want to take all of that out so I just want this one out so I think I'm gonna have to do some cutting but the first step is I need to figure out how to remove the glass the the acrylic and the frame that they slide in if I can figure out how this is attached hopefully I can remove it in one piece because I may end up reusing that over here to make a kind of a front door for these shelves. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I removed this uh, foam pad that used to line the inside edge of the windows kind of track. It was kind of a weather stripping type thing. And it looks like there's two screws along the edges here. I'm gonna remove those and see if this whole end loosens up. If it does, then I probably just have two on the other side I need to remove. If that doesn't do it, there's probably a couple screws across the top and the bottom as well. So hopefully this comes out easy. Okay, so I removed the two screws on this side and unfortunately it didn't feel like it quite came loose. So I pulled this bottom, this top track down and there was another screw there, which seemed to dislodge this whole top corner pretty well. And then when I went to do the same thing at the bottom, there's a thin spacer down here, a really brittle plastic. Um, I did crack that a little bit, removing it, but I was able to get to the screw underneath it, and I don't think it's going to hurt anything in the long run. So I'll just keep this piece that's broken, because uh, I think it keeps the doors secure. But uh, I think I'll just have to do the same thing on the other side, and this whole door assembly should come out. For this side, I was able to be a little bit smarter for the foam pad up this way, and I just peeled it far enough to get to the screw that I needed to, and did kind of the same thing down here. I just moved the foam off to the side and was able to get the screw out. Um, I haven't done this last upper one yet. It's what's holding it in at the moment, but the bottom one, I had a little more trouble with this spacer, um, but I don't think it's gonna cause any long-term issues. I got the screw out, and the whole bottom is now loose and I'm able to set it out. So I think once this screw is out, I can take this whole frame out and start working on removing the shelf itself. Okay, so the sliding doors are removed and the frame came out in one piece, which is really nice. So it had some little, the only thing I hadn't expected is it did have some little shims around it. I'll just save those. I might end up reusing them when I reattach the, the panels somewhere else, but that's out of my way now, and I can continue with this assembly. Alright, so trying to plan out how the bed platform is going to fit into all of this, and I think it makes the most sense to try to get this little countertop off of the top of this cabinet as well, so I can rest in the bed frame down there. But I'm not exactly sure how to remove it. I don't see any screws or anything like that, so it does look like it's silicone down, so I'm going to try and get underneath it with a razor blade and see if I can carve a little bit of that out and see if I can start pulling it up. See how it goes. Well, the countertop doesn't quite want to come off, but uh, making some progress. I think I was originally cutting around it with just a razor and then I've moved on to trying to hammer a kind of a putty knife multi-tool thing underneath it, and I think I'm starting to make some progress. I can't tell if the entire thing is silicone down or if it's just around the edges. I'm hoping that it's just the edges, but 
we will see. I'll keep you updated. All right, update on the countertop. I have busted out some of my heaviest duty prying equipment. I started fairly small. I started with a razor blade and I moved up to a fairly thin screwdriver and then to this putty type type putty knife multi-tool and from there I progressed up to just a cheap old chisel and then I brought out some uh, bigger prying materials like this screwdriver and this screwdriver. These are both fairly long. I didn't really pry a lot with these so much as I did just use their own volume to hammer them in and help break up the silicone that was under it. As you can see, the screwdriver makes it a little over half of the way in. And if we hit it from multiple sides, I was finally able to break the silicone free and detach this countertop. Now I haven't moved it yet, um, so let's go ahead and pick it up. I'll try and do this live here. Yeah, I took some of the top layer of the plywood and counter that was under it off, but that's okay because I don't really need those. They're going to be, uh, I'm just going to be building the bed platform over the top of that and it'll be sealed up to the bed. So now we can reuse this countertop somewhere else if we want to later on in the build or just use it in my garage as a nice little work worktop tray thing. But it seemed like a waste to leave it there and it added complexity to the next step of the build. So we did it. It's out. All right. So I cleaned up most of my tools and pulled some of the silicone and stuff off of here. Um, unfortunately, while I was doing it, I did chip the edges up a little here, so I'll have to come in when I when I kind of do some finishing work and uh, maybe glue those pieces back in or just at least fill them in with some paint. But this is all gonna be mostly covered in the final build, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, next time around, I'm gonna bring, come in and remove these shelves and this panel and I'll probably move this chrome, remove this chrome stripe here so that I can reuse it in another spot. Um, and then do some touch-up work, but that's going to be it for this time around. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.